Let's talk transfers. Transfers. So listen, listen for me, and obviously Aziz was a big signing last week. I don't know what you thought, Jack, about 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 the signing. Were you excited yeah. about it? We is it someone that you that you'd seen a lot of? Obviously, I've seen his goal. The Saturday before against we signed Plymouth. him, he got, he got yes. called back against, yes. against, against Watford. Yeah, yeah. Side foot volley, unreal. From, Do you know what I mean? From from a set from 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 a second phase player. Well, I'll be honest. I, I, I hadn't seen Bad much players of don't him. Do that, by the um, way. Yeah, I, I hadn't seen much of him. Um, what I had seen was when we played Plymouth at their place, mm. where I think he got a goal and an assist. Was yeah. it? And. You look to be at fair his... though, everyone got a goal that day, didn't they? It <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, even I had one. I was sat at home, but no, <laughs> it's one of these things where, like, you look at his stats and you look at the goal contributions he's had this season. Like, it's a player that we're crying out for. You're looking at. Have we missed that then, Jack? Have we missed that kind of player to open, unlock a door, well, to, to create more chances? Because take Riley out of the equation, take Ryan Giles out of the equation, yeah. take Tuber out of the equation. We've lacked a player of that calibre. I've, I've been saying, so for years, like, and it all started with Lee Tomlin. Like, Lee Tomlin, we brought him in. That perfect player that can sit just behind the striker. And he had that movement. He would give it a go. So, like, he scored goals from distance. He, he had set, a wand as well, though, Lee. Lee was a top player. Oh, top, yeah. Class Me, mental. Yeah. He, he could have stayed fit. Yeah. <laughs> He'd be a top player now, by the way. Still. Well, uh, he had a figure like me, though, so that's the He's issue. A top player, Lee. Top, top <laughs> but, player. <laughs> But then you're moving on from Tomlin. We had Fabrini, who again, not not great, but he had like a bit. He had a, he, the ability to take on players, score goals. They replaced him with a player with actual quality, which yeah. was Ramirez. Like Unreal. you're looking at that, and Reel, obviously reeling them out and any of the names, yeah. proper dropping names on the floor. Yeah. Now for me, right, he's written them on his hand, Andy. Yeah, I was saying, got big hand. Yeah. <laughs> Stuart Downing. <laughs> That's not but, the only thing. Better, <laughs> but yeah, so but af, after shoes. Ramirez, obviously that whole palaver. I'm looking at Stuart Downing coming into the club. And I'm thinking, perfect. Mm. Get him in there. He did a job for West Ham in that position. He was quality. He was one of the best English players in that position in the Premier League. What a great signing he is. And we so we played him out on the wing. And since then, we haven't had that player in the middle, who has actually had that quality and you're looking at like last season obviously we had Akpom in he was a bit, different type of player yeah. he was sort of playing with different tactics different style of football but you're looking at those types of players and I was like when we got McGree in I'm looking at McGree going perfect yeah. that's what we're wanting and he's out on the left wing yeah and that's and, and that's, my, that's my only hope I hope that that we don't take the good from a player and put him in a, yeah. in, a, in a different place. You know what I mean? Don't put a square square pegs in round holes. Yeah. You know what I mean? We've got to make sure that we put the right people in the right places to get the best out of them. You know what yeah. I mean? You don't become a bad player overnight, but you become a different player if you're not doing the, the good things that you do. Yeah, you and like that. I say, and for me, I'm, I'm just hoping that he brings some of that I'm creativity. Excited. I'm excited to, to see it. it, and I think his first game being away, I think is probably a good thing. He can go there, yeah. go there, play with a bit of freedom. Yeah, um, have, a have go. another solid week's training before he comes at home and plays yeah. against a side. For me, that. We can do some damage to with any luck. Cause I think it's a bit of payback. Yeah, that one. but you see, though, but the, th the thing is, if he if we we got Millwall and he does what he did against Watford on New Year's Day, yeah. like every, every, every every, honestly, day every, every, every single Borough fan would be yeah. like, honestly, they'd, they'd love it. No, I totally agree. Totally like, for me, though, if he brought him with a hero's welcome, we'd yeah. be rolling no, out the red carpet. Absolutely, and... absolutely bang on. <laughs> for me, signing of the window, Lou Ehrlin. Yeah, I, I think it's I been absolutely that. phenomenal. And, absolutely you know, steel, and, I, and I'll give my reason why because like, you, you, I'm not a not a defender at all. I'm not a defending fan. I like my teams to be expansive, but you've got a fullback here who loves to go forward. He loves to score goals. He's got. He's, he just loves football. You know what I mean? He's one of those players that you that you'd hate to hate to play against. You hate to have on the opposition team. You you, you detest players like is that the way that he plays because he just doesn't like opposition players. He kicks people. He's in your face. He's he's passionate. And I think for me, when he's got that red shirt on, I think every Middlesbrough fan will absolutely adore what he brings to this football yeah. club. Well, did you see the send off? The Leeds players all give. Yeah, I know. Have you seen the video? Yeah, yeah. they're well, all practically crying. On yeah, the video. and I think that's just a, that's a testament that testament to the player like. and the person me, because I think they've lost a, a huge player in out the of their changing room. I think they've well. lost, yeah. and, and I, but I think listen, football evolves. Managers come in, managers decide who comes in, who comes out, and and if he doesn't. If his face doesn't fit anymore he's got to go somewhere else yeah. and for me it's a master stroke that we brought him in because for me it suits yeah. everything the yeah. way he lives that comes down the road it's it, for me it's 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 perfect signing for him for, us, as a, for a person as a footballer as well, and for us yeah, I think it's absolutely magnificent because I think we've been we've struggled in the fullback areas 
you well, know that, I mean? yeah. for, for, for quite a while and we've got enough left backs to cover a ship you yeah. know, when they're all fit. <laughs> so I think right backs we can, we can yeah we can fit another one in yeah but, but like you're looking at Smith say Tom, Tommy Smith he's, he's been out for a while yeah. like Tommy Smith and it's looking like we're not going to get him back in the squad yeah. for a while yeah. we've got Dice Steel looking sim- like in a similar position and all that sort of stuff we brought in an experienced player who I think is going to be absolutely superb He'll be solid at the back, perfect for what we're looking for. A six-month deal, see his contract out, get him on a free in the, yeah. <laughs> in the summer. <laughs> I think that's key, and, and, and that's key for me. So, Jack, let's finish off with a uh, prediction for the Millwall game, because obviously that's our next game. How's it going to go? Just, what the results are going to be? Ah, uh, 5-1, five, 5-1, one. Five, one, that's, yeah. that's, a, that's a huge statement. <laughs> wow, huge Jack. statement. Uh, huge who, statement. Who invited him? That's week. confidence. Um, yeah. I'm going to go... Uh, I'm going to go 2-1 I can't see us keeping a clean sheet even though we've done it against the Premier League side I think we'll we'll, we'll win the game 2-1 and, and go into the nice home game hopefully with a little bit more confidence in what we do and hopefully we can get in the playoffs but uh, Jack brilliant thanks for having it's you on the show pleasure. mate really appreciate your time Thank as always you. and hopefully you bring us a little bit more luck as you always do fingers crossed <laughs> thanks everybody